For today's video, ang pag-uusapan naman natin is Cartesian product. So, madali lang ba yung Cartesian product? Sasagutin natin yan mamaya at malalaman niyan yan at natutunan niyan yan kung madali lang ba ang Cartesian product. So, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa channel natin, please consider do subscribe as additional motivation para gumawa pa tayo ng mas maraming video. Okay? So, without further ado, let's start it. So, Cartesian products. Given sets A and B, the Cartesian product of A and B, denoted A, X, B, and read as A cross B, is the set of all ordered pairs A, comma, B, parentheses, and where A is in A and B is in B. Okay, symbolically, A cross B is equals to A, comma, B, parentheses, such that A is an element of A and B is an element of B, enclosed by curly bracket. So, example, let's say we have set A is equals to 1, comma, 2, 3, enclosed by bracket or curly bracket, and B is equals to U, comma, B, enclosed also by curly bracket. So, let's say we have the question A, find A cross B, and B, find B cross A. For letter C, find B cross B, and for letter D, how many elements are in A, X, B, or A cross B, B cross A, and B cross B. So, let's start answering those questions. So, first, again, we have uh, for set A, 1, 2, 3, and B, U, V. So, we have to answer this following question first. The letter A and letter B. Find A cross B and B cross A. And as you can see, this is an opposite. Okay, what will happen to their um, elements? Since this is a cross, okay, uh, I mean, since this is an opposite. So, later on, malalaman natin yan. So, let's say this is the answer. Okay, and as you, as you can see here, A cross B is equals to 1 comma U. Okay, enclosed by parenthesis comma, 2 comma U, parenthesis comma, 3 comma U, parenthesis, enclosed by parenthesis comma, 1 comma V, parenthesis, comma, 2 comma v parenthesis comma, 3 comma v parenthesis comma, and enclosed also by curly bracket. As you can see here, my curly bracket yeah, to the first, okay, and to the end. Now for b cross a, we have u comma 1 comma parenthesis comma, u comma 2 parenthesis comma, u comma 3 parenthesis comma, and so on and so forth. And as you can see here, we have this. Now, since they are opposite, okay, then the possible things, their elements can be possible too, okay? So, as you can see, 1 comma u is the opposite of u comma 1. 2 comma u is the opposite of u comma 2. And so on and so forth, okay? Opposite sila. So, make sense? They are opposite. So, now, the question is, how many elements are in A cross B and B cross A? Maybe some students are quietly confused about this now because they are some students are counting this as one element and second element, this is third element and fourth element. Kung baga binibilang nila yung ano, yung nasa loob ng uh, ano natin, yung close and open parenthesis natin is kinoconsider nila ito as a single element, yung isang element dito. Sample, yung 1 natin, kama yung yun natin is an element din. So, para uh, mas klaro at malinaw natin yung mga ganyang, uh, ano, mga ganyang understanding, okay? So, ito, pag na-enclose siya ng close and open parenthesis, na-enclose siya ng parenthesis, this means, Itong 1 natin at saka yun natin, okay? Ito is an order. Order sila. Order pair sila. Now, since they are enclosed by parentheses, that means this considered a single element. And parehas din, tayo, parehas din dito sa 2, comma u, close, parenthes, uh, close and open parentheses, enclosed by parentheses, and the rest. And since now, alam na natin na pag enclosed by parenthesis, followed by comma, okay, separated by comma, 
Ayan yung mga term. So, that means they are single element. So, this order is a single element because it is enclosed by um, parentheses followed by comma. So, single uh, element. So, since alam na natin ang single element to, so, bilangin na natin kung ilang elements tayo, mer meron tayo dito sa A cross B. So, we have 1, 2, 3, okay, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, in A cross B, the element of A cross B is 6, okay? So, meron dyan 6 elements. And since A cross B is the opposite of B cross A possible, we have also 6 elements here. And to confirm that, bibilangin din natin yan. So, let's say, alam na natin na ba, by enclosed by, uh, enclosed by parenthesis is a single element. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have also 6 elements here. Okay, and 6 din tayo dito. Now, to illustrate this using, mas maganda siya pag ginagamitan siya ng diagram. Let's set A is equals to 1, 2, 3. And for set B, we have U and B. Now, paano natin nakuha ito? Ano bang ibig sabihin? Bakit natin nakuha yung ganitong, ano, yung ganitong uh, ordered pairs? Okay? So, simply lang, lahat ng element ni A, mauuna sa lahat ng ordered pair dito. Kung makikita ni dito, lahat ng element ni A, nauna sa lahat ng ordered pair dito. Okay? Yung 1 natin, yung 2 natin, yung 3 natin. Okay. Ngayon, tignan nyo. So, meron tayong 1 to you, 2 to you, 3 to you. Okay? Distribute natin sila lahat. Okay? Now, meron tayong 1 to V, since may B pa tayo dito, 2 to B, and 3 to V. So, ito, hanggang dyan, tapos, yung B naman natin hanggang dito, 1 to V, 2 to V, 3 to V. Okay, simple lang, no? lahat ng element dito ni A, siya yung inuna natin, okay, bago si B. Or that means, lahat ng element ni A is the first element of an ordered pair. And the second is the element of second set. That is the set B. Okay? So, simple as that. So, since ito is an opposite, so, simple lang, mas unahin, unahin naman natin yung lahat ng element ni B. Simple as, let's say, drawing tayo dito ng draw, uh, ano, diagram. So, meron tayo yung uh, U. Okay, sorry for the, ano, the drawing. Hindi natin mo siya na handle yung mouse natin. So, second uh, diagram, we have, we have something like this. So, 1, 2, ayan, and 3. So, this is B cross A. So, pinapakita lang natin itong, ano, so this is B. Okay, this is B. Ayan. At ito is A. Okay. So, since meron tayong U dito, at sila yung mga sa lahat ng element dito, ng ordered pair dito, so let's say meron tayong, okay, U to 1, U to 2, U to 3. So, you can see meron tayong U to 1, U to 2, U to 3. Next, meron pa tayong B dito, na kailangan pa rin, partner dito para magaroon tayo ng order pair. So, we have V, B to 1. Okay, so let's change the color. Palitan natin yung color natin para at least um, ma-fill natin. Okay? Ma-fill natin yung difference. Okay, difference nila and let's say white. So, we have V to 1, B to 2, and B to 3. And we have here B to 1, B to 2, and B to 3. And simple as that. Okay? So, dyan, kung, uh, kung paano natin nakuha itong mga ordered pairs na to, so, using this, okay, using this, 2 to U, and 3 to U. Then next, 1 to V, 2 to B, and 3 to V. Simple as that. Okay? Uh, it's up to you, no? Uh, whether of these two, kung alin yung gusto nang gamitin. Okay? So, next, find B cross B. Okay? 
So how many elements are in A cross B and B cross A and B cross B? Now let's say we have B, okay, set B and set B. Because this this means you find a B cross um, B, you set B not then to another set B. So let's say we have here, so alam natin na ito is UB, okay, UB, yung element ni B natin. So, ganun din gagamitin natin dito. So, kung paano yan, so, sagutan na muna natin ito lahat. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, first, explain ko muna kung saan ito nanggaling yung U, U natin, U, V natin, V, U, and um, V, V. First, yung first element natin, sa kay B dito. So, ito yung first uh, set natin at ito yung mga first element natin, yung U at saka V. And since an to another B na naman, so ipapartner lang natin sila. So, first, basically, dito talaga tayo mag-start, ano, mag mag-arrow. So, from uh, from the first element, okay, U to U, ayan, U to U, and U to B. So, tapos na tayo ngayon dito sa first element natin. So, napartner na natin sila lahat dito. Okay, napartner na natin yung U natin dito. So, ayan, U to U and U to V. So, meron pa tayo yung B dito. Gagawin lang natin dyan. Okay, V to U, B to V. So, ayan. Okay, simple as that. Ngayon, since alam na natin kung paano tayo mag-count ng, ng element sa partition product, so, ganyan lang. By enclosed by, uh, enclosed by parentheses, followed by comma, that means single element. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 4 elements here. Okay? Meron tayong 4 element kay B cross B. So, for letter D question, how many elements are in A cross B, B cross A, and B cross B? So, previously, as what we have uh, discussed earlier, yung dalawa, opposite yung A, A cross B natin, and B B cross, I, I mean, B, B to, this is B, B, okay, B cross A, okay, so, opposite, opposite sila, so, meron tayong 6 elements doon, so, that means, as you can see here, the answer is, A cross B and B cross A has 6 elements, and B cross B has 4 elements, okay, the statement is true, and, Ito lang, ito lang discussion natin, uh, this is very short and quick discussion, no? And, kung may natutunan kayo dito sa video natin na to, video tutorial na natin na to, so, please consider to subscribe again, and, um, para ma-notify kayo, i-click nyo na rin yung uh, button bell sa baba, para lagi kayong update sa mga discussion natin. And you can also comment down below kung may gusto kayong pag-usapan natin, kung may gusto kayong discuss natin, then, gawa natin yun ng video. And comment na rin kayo sa baba kung ano yung feedback ninyo. And uh, kung may gusto kayong itanong, comment na rin ninyo para masagot natin. So again, thank you and I hope this video help you.